Brand Vines and my beautiful subscribers. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys for showing me love and support. I really do appreciate it. Thank you for the likes, shares, and comments as well as subscribes. If you haven't subscribed yet, you are welcome to do so. So let's get a collective message for today. Okay, and see what spirit wants you guys to know. Hope you guys are having a beautiful morning so far. Spirit guys, ancestors of the highest white light, what messages do you have for the collective at this time? Please and thank you. time okay so we have nurture so you guys are nurturing on yourself taking care of yourself okay some of you guys i'm here in a spa so some of you guys are pampering yourself okay you look very beautiful okay very radiant like you have very strong energy okay it's like everything grows around you Everything flourish and blossoms around you. With this nurturing card, number three. Okay? You could be getting more grounded. Okay? You guys could be getting more grounded. Collective. Meditating more. You guys are just feeling free. Feeling relaxed and comfortable. It's a lot of green around this, or around her on this photo, on this card. And you see how the sun is so radiant, like your energy is so beautiful. And then you have all that healing power and energy within you coming out of your hand. Like you're so vibrant, radiant. Like your hand, you have healing hands. You can have healing hands. Give me more spirit, please. Healing begins. You guys are healing, okay? Most of you guys are just starting your healing journey, okay? Yeah, you have a lot of healing energy within you. It's like the love you give off because green is part of the heart chakra. That's why I say it's a lot of green on this card, 222 two, two on the clock. So you guys are healing your heart chakra, okay? Healing yourself, taking time off for yourself, clearing your mind. Focusing on you. Closing out cycles as well with this number six card. Because six represents karma. Balance the Libra scale. So it's like you guys are just rejuvenating yourselves. And I'm getting beautiful energy off these cards. Yeah, seek is another card with all this green. Like you guys have so much abundance. So much like soothing calm energy around you guys with all this green like you guys are very grounded down to earth people you guys could be an earth sign Taurus, virgo capricorn and you have your guys with you guiding you okay see the two birds you receive messages from your guides you listen to your guides okay like you're just in a very calm state right now, collective. Like you guys are relaxed. Maybe some, yeah, someone wants to come towards you or come together with you. We got come together and love as I crack open the deck. And that's six as well. So it's two sixes. Okay, so 66 could be significant. We'll look that number up. All right, spirit guys, give me more, please. For the collective. Someone could also be looking towards you or looking at you like for guidance with this seek, healing begins, and nurture. Okay. I'm going to put it in the upright. We have move. So it makes, so maybe some, yeah, the clarity of belief. Clarity of belief. So you could have helped someone open their heart chakra collective. Okay. As well as you can open a lot of people up with different viewpoints with seek and move. I'm 
say, give me more for move flow. So now someone wants to go with the flow of their heart. This gives me like someone else's energy with this flow and move. That's why I kind of got stuck. But everything you guys work hard for, you're getting your well-earned rewards. Because you deserve it. Because you took time to focus on you. Okay? Nurture on yourself. Heal yourself. This is someone else's energy. It could be someone external to you or someone you used to deal with, collected with this flow and move. Because now someone wants to, like, go with the flow of what they're feeling or what their heart is telling them. Did you see how this person is holding on to their heart and they're in all this water? So this person was just sitting, soaking in their emotions, not making a move. That's why we had a move right here. So now someone is going with the flow of their emotions and their heart and their feelings. 616, they're tired of sitting in their emotions. Because they know sitting in their emotions is not going to get them anywhere. Yeah, you guys are manifesting. That's why I said you guys are very powerful. Like, you have so much powerful energy within you that you can manifest whatever it is that you want in your reality. Because you continue to listen to your inner guidance as well as your spirit guides. Because you guys are healing. Like, you guys have healed your heart chakra. Look how it's glowing. And it's all this green in these first three set of cards that came out. Like, you guys have done the work on yourself. And this is beautiful. Just continue to love, nurture, and care on you. Okay? But someone could be trying to flow and move their way towards you. As you continue to reap your rewards, okay, be on top, master all those blockages, okay, bricks and stones or whatever people try to throw towards you because you know you're powerful, you're magnificent, you're magnificent, is what I heard, <laughs> yeah, embrace, because you chose your battles wisely, you guys chose your battles wisely, and just embrace change. Y'all welcome change in with open arms. You guys didn't sit up here and like not trust the process. And that's why your spirit guys is proud of you guys because you guys sat here, healed, nurtured, love, and care on yourself so you will be able to continue to receive the guidance necessary for you in order to move through life. You have to have guidance, okay? In life. I don't know why I heard that's the number one manual rule book for life. Like, guidance. You have to. Give me more spirit. Yeah, we have balance. You guys are balanced. Your masculine and feminine energies within you is balanced. Because you took time to heal and do the work on yourself. Okay? You didn't sit up here and try to run from your healing process. You took time and mastered it. That's how you're so able to see here and receive so much, like, guidance, so much protection. Okay? Because you cleared the way for you in order to heal and clean out the debris, stagnant energy, or whatever was keeping you stuck or slowing you down from your healing. You're now able to see, feel, breathe clearly and hear as well. Someone could be sad because they're in isolation. But this is what this person manifested. That's why it's like you have to be mindful where your mind flows or goes. Because you can manifest whatever your intentions are as far as your thoughts. Okay, I have a channel message as well about bondage, but I'm going to read it when we're done with the collective reading. Give me more spirit, please, for the collective yeah, we have listen, okay? It's like someone chose not to listen. And this gives me like a mischievous look, okay? For some reason, it's like not up to no good off that card with the listen. But now someone is listening to their heart because they're wanting to 
move their body towards you. Okay? Or at least trying to. Because they see you look over at you and they know that you're balanced. Okay? You're dancing and swimming and flowing and all this green, all this abundance energy, prosperity, growth. Okay? Like, you guys are like, okay, I'm going to be over here sitting handsome, sitting pretty in my own lane, nurturing on myself, healing on myself, and continue to receive guidance. Because that's what I was told to do. Okay, to balance me out. And now someone wanna listen. Now somebody wants to listen with their pencil head ass. She more like a paintbrush. She. But it's like this person looks so mischievous. It's giving me like sneaky, like up to no good, like. They trying to come up with a master plan and shit. Look. Like, <laughs> let me see how I'm going to move towards the collective. Because I look over here, collective violence, looking good, smelling good, healing. Okay. They're able to flow, move through life easy breezy. And I got to sit up here sitting and soaking in my emotions and feelings. Because I chose not to listen. But now I'm listening. And then they got an amethyst around her neck. So it's like now this person is listening to their own guidance. Then this person is listening to their um, spirit guides. When you don't listen to your inner guidance or your intuition, you're always going to be unbalanced. That's why it's always best to listen. Okay? Slow down a little bit. Because your intuition is your emotions. Water. And in order to, like, ground your emotions and feelings... You have to be willing to, like, really balance it out. Because if you can't go with the flow, you're going to always be stuck and stagnant. And you're going to always try to look outside of yourself to figure out where you can find a balance at. But the balance is always within you. That's why your, your masculine and your feminine is balanced. Number 14. And number and 14 go breaks down to a five. One and four is a five. So it's like change. You have to go through the necessary changes in order to see growth. In order to see you evolve and expand. Yeah, embrace change. You have to embrace what the universe is trying to give to you and show you. It's way more to life than sitting up here sad, moping around, depressed over you losing a job, a relationship, or whatever the case may be. Pick yourself back up and keep moving. Okay? It's like you're the only one that's keeping yourself stuck in these feelings and emotions because you're not ready to embrace change. You're trying to be stubborn and go against what you know feels best for you as far as healing. You got to take a step back from people, places, and things sometimes and isolate yourself and be to yourself to regroup and recuperate. Because how are you going to know what's going on with you if you're always around other people that's distracting you or projecting onto you? You have to be willing to be comfortable to sit down in your own skin. Love on you. So that way you can come out looking, feeling better than what you were some years ago, some days ago. But it's like, are you ready and willing to listen and trust into your own intuition, your own inner guidance? Okay? Because once you become the student, you can become the teacher. 
Okay, and the teacher can also be a student, 15, 15 on the clock, because you're always learning. And that's why embrace comes in with the change to find balance. Give me more spirit, please. Rebuild. Okay? Rebuild. My body and soul. Rebuild. Reconstruct. Release and let go. Liberate your mind. Feel free within your soul. Because only you would know what your soul wants, what your soul needs. Okay? And it's like not wanting to figure out what it is that your soul needs the most, which is you. 16, 16 o'clock, you're always going to be crying out to other things that doesn't even matter. That's my spirit saying, listen, stop trying to be sneaky, mischievous, or trying to figure out or go around and find all these other different things to do because it's always going to take you back to square one. You're always going to start back at square one. So you might as well just go through the change, move through it, with the open heart, okay? Open your heart up and move through that change. Feel through it, okay? Because you're only going to be hurting yourself if you choose not to flow through life. Yeah, refusing to see. That's what you're doing. You're trying to go against the grain and try to find all these other hoops and loops to get through life. No. Just listen, bro. Sis, listen. You see, she's sitting there listening to her guide. Guide her. She's seeking clarity, answers, truth. And once you start the healing, it comes in. And everything just flows so easily and everything just balanced right back out. With this embrace, we have 21, okay? Two and one is a three, and then it's like three, three. So you could be a master number 33. I heard life path number six, okay? Yep, you have to rebuild. And 16 on here goes into a seven. That's listening to your guides. That's spiritual guidance. Okay, seven is a spiritual number. 18, 18 on the clock. And you see the angel wings? This is your guide trying to rebuild you. Mind, body, and soul. The more you continue to nurture and heal and come, for, come to them for guidance and not go to anyone else or seek it outside yourself. You seek it within by sitting in... Indian style, crisscross, applesauce, woosa, kumbaya, and all that. Okay? Relax. That's the only way you're going to liberate your mind or free your mind. If you sit down and relax and listen. Okay? That's how people can trap you mentally. Because if somebody can restructure... Your mind and different patterns. What else I put on here when I wrote it down? Yeah, I put bondage is a mechanism tool of the mind. It's a, a concept people use to control physically. If you can confine yourself to that form, pattern, or structure, you are held captive, as in bondage. But captivity can also be set free through the mind, the way of your thoughts. If you don't rebuild your mind, you will always feel trapped. So if you can reform your mind, you are liberally free. Exactly. And that's a strong-ass channel message I received earlier from my spirit guides by sitting down meditating. Okay? That's why I'm like, you guys don't know how much you will know or tap into if you just sit down and relax and continue to heal. 
And you guys have completed your healing because nine is out here. Now you're able to sit there and let things come and flow to you. You don't have to go looking for it. Everything flows to you naturally. 2022 on the clock. That's how powerful and strong you are. That's why you have to be mindful who you give your energy to. Because not everybody is around you for good reasons or good cause. You see, I told you, look, mischievous. That's why spirit is like, listen to the people, places, and things around you. Listen. Tap in. She has the amethyst on her neck with her eraser head ass. <laughs> okay. But yeah, you got to listen, man. Because they tapping you into these people, places, and things around you. Because these people trying to plot and plan on you. Look. Trying to figure out what can they do next to take you off your balance. But you are balanced. Because you embrace change. And if you haven't, you're in the process of doing so because you're, you're going towards your healing. You're choosing to rebuild, nurture, and seek answers. And not seek answers from other people. What's behind it? Coming together. Coming together with yourself. Reconnecting your heart. Healing that inner child. Okay? Instead of being more focused on coming together with a person, make sure you guys come together with yourself. Always regroup yourself. Bring yourself back to one. Okay? Because these same feelings and emotions that you're having about something else, somewhere else, whatever the case may be, people, place, or thing, you can feel that same emotion and feelings for yourself. Because now you're embracing you, the changes that you did within you to be comfortable, okay, to be happy, to continue to radiate, be vibrant, to take care of yourself, be responsible. Let's get one more card, Spirit. Okay, we got two. Yeah, helpless and hopeless. Which one you gonna be? Okay, I mean you could be both too. Hopeless and helpless. Okay, but it's like why be either or? When all you gotta do is be dedicated, make the necessary steps necessary to change. Be dedicated. What, whatever it is that you choose to do and like be dedicated, make the effort. As long as you're showing that you can make the effort, you're not just sitting here soaking, thinking somebody's going to come and save you. You have to be able to save yourself. Ten, completion as well. Tens are completions. Okay. You have to complete whatever is keeping you stuck. Like a sitting duck. And continue to move and go with the flow of your heart. Your heart's desire. Seven on this card as well. And we're rebuild. Sixteen. Seven. Seven. Seventy-seven. Look up that number. I seen seven, seven, seven today, you guys. When I was on my way home from dropping my kitties off at school, I definitely seen seven, seven, seven. So your guides is all around you. You just have to be willing to listen and stop listening to everybody else. Okay? Because your guides know that you're dedicated. They see the efforts that you put in without giving up a fight. That's why they believe in you. They love you. They trust you. They wouldn't give nobody else this journey if it wasn't you, male or female. Just take a sit back and realize and understand where you are at today and be grateful for that. 24, 44 o'clock. You have to be willing to embrace it. Good or bad. And as I look at this card, it's a heart right here with roots growing out of it. Yeah, you had your heart closed off. And now that you opened yourself up, 
you're ready to shine that light within you. Look how bright this card is. Like you have so much light and love to give to the universe and people. But you need to stop being afraid and feeling left out alone, helpless and hopeless. You have to heal that inner child. Because this child is going towards the sun. They're just trying to figure out which direction to go. These other directions don't matter. That's distractions. That's blockages that people throw in your way to see if you're going to take the bait. Go towards the sun. Go towards the light. What feels right to you? Not nobody else. Because the same way these people want you to listen, they listening to with they erase the sharp head ass. Because you got a lot of new energy around you, within you. Don't let these people come take your energy. What's behind there? Observe. Exactly. Don't let these people take your energy or soak up your beautiful energy that you took time to heal and regroup yourself and cleanse out toxic people, places, and things all because you're feeling alone. Okay, lonely, I am so lonely. I ain't even about to get into it because I was about to be funny, y'all. But yeah, for real, stop, stop that. It's okay to be by yourself. Like, for real. It's okay. You realize how sane you are when you're by yourself. And not having so many other people's thoughts consuming yours. Like, for real, that's where that bondage come into play. That I just read to you guys. Okay. Let's see what else we can get. I ain't going to do y'all like that. I'm going to try to get some more. I love these cards. That's why I've been using them so much lately. But it's real good when I be um doing my collective reading sometimes of messages. Spirit wants you guys to know. To keep you guys empowered and moving forward. You know. We all need that in our life. Okay? And most people don't have it. So, that's what your girl here for. Sorry, no. <laughs> okay. Give me messages for... Whoa. Okay. So, we have self-esteem. I possess gifts of the soul that benefit me and others. Exactly. Don't be afraid to shine your light. Don't be afraid to be you. Okay? That's why it's best to sit down and heal so you can be comfortable with you. Discipline. I can accomplish what I set my mind to. Yes. That's why it's called taking the steps necessary necessary to be dedicated. Put your efforts in. And don't be afraid of what other people are saying. And what they got to say. Just sit there and observe. Because look. They trying to suck up your energy. All these people around you. They looking at you. Because they know you have some beautiful energy. We got one, two, and three. One, two, three could be significant. Yes, you guys are definitely balanced. You guys then completed your healing cycle. Okay, most of you or some of you guys are starting or still on your healing journey. Like, this is beautiful, you guys. Just continue to move and push forward acceptance i am learning to accept the things i cannot change exactly embrace that change and continue to move don't stay there then we got balance again i'm gonna leave it right here balance i bring a state of perfect harmony into my world and i do so without judgment boom okay can't nobody tell you about you but you that's why it's always best to sit down and 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 work on you 29 29 o'clock okay So, this is the message I have for you, beautiful collective. Make sure you guys like, share, comment, as well as subscribe, and hit that bell notification so you know your girl posting. Peace.